Here we go. Bob asks the question. Uh, oops. Yeah, does Pi Star remember Wi-Fi networks? Uh, it will auto log into the nearest Wi-Fi. Will it auto log into the nearest Wi-Fi? Thinking about using uh, hotspot for both my house Wi-Fi and then mobile phone hotspot for portable. Uh, great question, Bob. So the SkyBridge will certainly remember Wi-Fi networks. So when you actually input the network into the SkyBridge, um, you'll basically uh, add the network username and password, and then whenever your SkyBridge is in range of one of them, it's likely going to connect to the strongest one. Uh, and then if you, if you go out of range of that, it's going to switch over to a different one. So I usually recommend only having it be able to connect to one at a time. So for me, I typically keep mine hooked up to my cell phone. That way, when I'm on the go, when I'm in a hotel, when I'm in the car, when I'm, when I'm at home, uh, it's going to work no matter what. And it uses so little bandwidth that you don't notice a difference on your cell phone. Um, now, at home, oftentimes I'll just plug it in. That way, you don't have to worry about it. But you can certainly set it up for more than one Wi-Fi network. And we'll show you how to do that real quick. So go ahead and type in the IP address that's on the screen. So in this case, uh, 192.168.1.177. So we'll, we'll go over there and try that real quick. Let's pull up the computer. Here we go. So open up a web browser. We'll just type in the IP address that displays on the screen. That's a, a big feature for the SkyBridge. A lot of hotspots they don't show you the IP address they're on, and that's going to change based on what network you have it plugged into, uh, or even depending on your networks, that could change every time you plug it in. So if you don't have that, you're going to have to be hunting through your router every time you want to log in and change something on your SkyBridge, whereas in this case, it tells you that information right on the front. So here we go. Once you're at the dashboard, just click on Configuration, uh, Username and Password. Username is going to be pi-star. Oops. Password is Raspberry, R-A-S-P-B-E-R-R-Y. There we go. Once you're in here, uh, we can see we have a few modes active. I'm going to actually change this back just to DMR since that's the only radio we have in here right now. Now, if you scroll down a little bit to the uh, Wi-Fi, you'll click on Configure Wi-Fi right here. And we have a few Wi-Fi networks in here. So like I don't need this anymore. I can get rid of that. Have Bridgecom network. Uh, you can either scan for network. So I could click on this. Um, and oops. If I click on the scan for networks, uh, it will actually scan, should scan for more networks. Or you can click on add network and it will actually add one for you. Uh, and, and you would just type in the username. Oh, there we go. The scan worked. So there's all the scan networks. You can see the, uh, the signal, everything like that. We could connect to any of them. Um, or if we wanted to, we can just manually add a new network, type in our information, and then just hit save and connect and reboot your SkyBridge and you'll, you'll be all set. Um, so hopefully that, hopefully that answers your question there. Uh, it's really simple to, to actually add the Wi-Fi networks. Now, there's a couple things you're probably not going to be able to do if you're on like a hotel Wi-Fi with a, uh, you have to click their terms and accept through a web browser. You're not going to be able to do that through this. Uh, but almost all of us nowadays have these cell phones with us, and even the old ones, they, have, they can host a Wi-Fi hotspot. Uh, so just connect your SkyBridge up to the cell phone. You can even do it through the phone itself. You don't even need a computer to connect it up, and you'll be up and running no matter where you go. So great question.